Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Taco. I'm here, gonna play one of my favorite games of all time. Really? That's the- that's it? That's the final chapter? There's only two chapters in Act 4? Oh, that hurts. But, um... Yeah, this will conclude, for now, the Project Nimbus Let's Play. I think I'm gonna redo everything again and, uh, prepare to die mode, or at least play all the levels in cockpit mode. Seeing as how I accidentally skipped a few levels, although I'm not too excited about the Pentagon one, because while it is very fun, I have a thing against the classical music when instead I could be listening to the best written music of all time, which is composed of these guys. Like, it's funny, because in the Vietnam War, you know, and other stuff, uh, no, I think it's just the Vietnam War, they played, uh, the song that they play right there, like loudspeakers and, uh, Maybe not now, see, because it was, they played it, I don't know what the fuck they were called, but they played it in the helicopters to still fear into, into their enemies, so it's a, it's a good one, it's a good one, uh, it also encouraged the troops, but it's a good idea, I just, I, I don't like it, I don't like it, I like, I really like the music of this game, the natural one. Um, I know as the leader of the fallen nation is a destroyer, not all of the controls cease to function, but it- oh, hold up. I was like, why is it- yeah. Main system, Main system engaging, engaging combat, mode. combat mode! Main system engaging combat mode! Main system engaging combat mode! And there we go. I forgot to turn it off to listen to that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The AI Ronald Reagan, whom we know as Bird Eyes, the leader of the Children of Fallen Nation, has been destroyed. The AI led the Children of Fallen Nation. Control have ceased to function, but the nightmare isn't over yet. Testament: A derelict weapon satellite, formerly under the control of the Ronald Reagan and even larger than the Patriot, has broken free from its orbit and is falling down towards Earth. Projected point of impact. Neo Sydney, Australia. The country the testament falls on isn't the real fault. The solar nuclear warheads it carries has an immense blast radius, enough to eradicate all life on this planet. Lieutenant Juliana, pilot of Mi 3, you must intercept How? it before it reaches the Earth's surface. It fell the out of orbit. How do we, we the most I can do is just keep blasting it until it spreads out into little bits if it's what I'm thinking so far. If everything he said is just that that's it. We're fighting against who? We won. We defeated the AI. Or Today, we do not fight in the name of any nation or ideology. Today, we fight for the greater good of all humanity. Even though I was named Future, I can't choose one of my own. It's a bitter kind of irony. I used to think the future of humanity was such a silly idea. This is such a cool area. The moment they put the neural connectors in my spine and brain, the choice had already been made for me. But Mithril helped me realize something. If I cannot choose my beginning, then I will use my power to fight for the future. For the people around me. For the future I want to see. That's what it means to do what's right, right? Yeah, I think that was interestingly phrased, but I, I think I get the point. Mm, that she's gonna just enjoy what she was sort of like... She was the next destination after the, the final beginning sortie. was... It's a little Cousin sad. Point. Take off preparations complete. Do your oh, best that's out there. Awful. <laughs> yeah, that sounded exactly like a plane. You have no idea how much I love airports and planes. It just, it feels good to ride one. 
It's been an honor to fight alongside all of you. Battleframe squadron is approaching. One prototype unit and multiple high performance battleframes. What? Mirai, Juliana, Morgan, prepare to engage. Who wants just a giant as. Ace <laughs> Why? It's just a giant ass basically meteor gonna kill us all. What? This. Your, uh, your goals are flying past me. Like, I cannot understand what you're doing here, what your goal is. I guess maybe suicide. Oh, Yuliana is gonna fucking try to fuck him up. Yuliana, wait. Lead him towards me. Yuliana, we work together, and I mean actual coordination and teamwork. We could easily beat this guy. Oh god. Oh god. No way, wait. What the fuck is that guy? What? Oh. There, fuck you. Stop flying. That was that felt cheap. He kept flying out of my screen. I think it's the stuff how I can only imagine that in a fucking uh what is it? Um cockpit mode. People constantly flying the fuck out of your screen. What's this? There's no world that come, we're literally all gonna blow up, guys. I would have understood if you were trying to take us over, not pave way for a missile that's coming to literally wipe us off the face of the earth. You never got the bad guys who did that, ever. <laughs> it's like, why? Oh, there's one guy left somewhere. Is he under me? Guys, take me to him. Oh, there it is. Never mind, he did. Oh. Okay. To destroy those you hate, no matter the cost. Hatred corrupts. I'm gonna release all the pretty things. There we go. We are out of deployed. Be careful. Oh, what? I thought the reason why it's going out of orbit is because it's fucking, you know. Yes, Miss Yuliana. We can do this. Oh, my lordy Jesus. Yeah, how come I'm not a. Uh, Locked on, it's a huge ass thing. Oh, uh, Diuliana, shut the fuck up and help! I don't know about you, but I'm not doing that much damage to it. Uh, actually, I think I got. Oh shit, good progress. Just tell you what. Tell you, what, I'll take care of this. You take care of the missiles. Let's work together. <laughs> I don't see you here! The testament is 40% damaged. So am I! Go look, we'll be besties at that. 
In fact, I'm more than 40% damage. Isn't that funny? Oh, no, no, no! I pressed the place! I pressed it! I pressed it! Shut! Calm down! I pressed the flares. Oh, God. It's really driving in a thing where I wish I had, like, 3D control of this. If that makes any sense. Oh, God. Oh, God. How about... How about... No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yuliana! Yuliana, Miss Yuliana! I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I, I, yes, Lieutenant, hurry. I don't know about you, but I'm, you're getting re-carried so hard right now. If the Colonel was watching, he'd be very disappointed in your behavior. Ah. Uh, uh. Damn, fuck you. Uh, what? Oh yeah, I forgot. Even though we blow it up, it kind of falls into pieces and it's still penetrated the surface. <laughs> what? Because I don't think you know how science works. Unless we have like super power weaponry that like eviscerated all particles. Juliana, you did jack shit, and I'm extremely disappointed in you. I almost died! My robot should be smoking. And since you're behind me, should be all up in your face to remind you of how hard I carried you. Ah, oh, my back. It hurts from carrying you so much! Don't bitch. Is that it? Did we do it? We did it! Wait, wait, which one's the blue flag? Which one's the blue flag? We had Mithril, which was basically the, with the United States and the Russia. Which was the blue, the green, no, not, not which was the blue flag, which was the green flag? Wow, we actually found all those monsters. These just... That was good. So I'm disappointed. That was a uh... oh, this is good CW, but there was no new um... no new song, epic song, guys. Like I fell in love with their together song. Where is the um... who? Who the fuck is that? One of the children of fallen nation. No, no, no. The current. Cur not, not the colonel, but the other Russian guy. I didn't remember him having a scar, though. Oh, there's, there's my useless ass waifu right there. It's because she has a badass personality, but oh boy, is she fucking useless. And she's hot. She looks great in that sexy ass jacket. It's very classy, and I, I like it. Why? The, the haircut also works. The fact that she was able to grow her hair that long is very impressive. The fact that they didn't make her cut it for work, the piloting is that also impressive. Aw, uh, you going to school. Aw, uh, she's so excited to go to school. Look at your kawaii little face. Look, she's kidding novel, she's not waifu, she's just, she's a teenager. She's underage. Juliana is white waifu. <laughs> Ah, oh, I want more levels. I want co-op. I want multiplayer. Let me let me give you a thousand dollars so I can voice act for this game, please. Like, ah, oh, I hate it. I hate that I missed the initial Kickstarter. Cause you could, if you after if you donated enough money, you could be a character in this. In this game, granted, you would mostly get shot down, but you know. Ah, oh, thank you guys for. Supporting this in my place. I really wish I could have done it. I missed the Undertale and I missed the Project Nimbus Kickstarter, but I never hear about them until they're actually out. Like, I got. Uh, what did I hear about Project Nimbus? Humble Bundle? No. Yeah. 
I totally forgot I heard of Project Nimbus. But I fell in love with it instantly due to its amazing ass music. Good ass gameplay! Uh, I love it space as a Kickstarter supporter. I can't believe it's over, now I'm sad. No, I'm gonna redo a let's play. Brett to die game mode. I'm afraid it's- no, 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 you know what? I'm gonna do a gamer recommended one. Now that I'm actually decent. It's just gonna be too frustrating and take forever. But I'm gonna play every single level the way it was meant to be. Role playing in cockpit mode. I look Arabic. And, uh, Jap- I wanna say Japanese. Yeah, that's Japanese, that's not Chinese. I think. Just watch, I fucked it up. <laughs> Vladimir. White Rabbit UK. But fuck. Uh, yeah, but no, I'm gonna redo the whole thing in cockpit mode. Are you guys just like, oh, that's the same thing? No, everything's hard in cockpit mode because the same problem where everybody zooms past, like, out of your screen and constantly is fucking you up is the way bigger problem in cockpit mode. Like, the Yuliana fight. I tried it once. It took me like seven tries before I beat it in cockpit mode just because she got up all up in my face and behind me constantly no matter where I turn or where I dash. It was ridiculous. But yeah. Oh, interesting end. I'm surprised the defense systems were online seeing as I was crashing and I think since the fact that it lost power, that's what was making it crash to the fucking earth. But oh, this can't judge too much. I still adore this game. In the back. I wonder if I got any new robots. Robots! I don't. I think these are. Wait, isn't this the. These two are very similar. Um, well his is more round, this is more boxy. I have to say I like this one better. Not 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 the red one, I like Meat Eyes. Ha, <laughs> it's named after Meat Eye! That's so cool. Meat Eye is cool. Ah. Oh! Okay, I'm sorry guys. I know lots of you love that anime samurai looking thing, but and it's it, it performs fantastic. But there's something about realism that was attracting me. Like the reason why I hate the Gundam anime is like I think they're all shittily written because uh shittily shittily's not a word, but they're all extreme the writing is extreme shit in almost all of them. Because I can predict everything that happens way before it happens because it's so obvious like oh Whoever has the Gundam's wit like will annihilate anyone who doesn't have a Gundam and maybe fight It's like oh he's so good we may come to a tie or oh I had to retreat but it's not over and and uh, until he finally you know beats the guy who didn't have a Gundam because it's not a Gundam mobile mobile suits always on um MS8 theme is all right and double O is good in character wise, kind of? Although it was still very predictable. And the stupidest thing, like. Like, Western mechs are all about using the tools that you have. Like, mechs will have different classes and weapons. You use those to your advantage using the skills that you gotta win the game and win the day. And Gundam, not not definitely. I don't want to group up on uh, all Asian mechs because clearly Project Nimbus showed it differently, kind of. And I'll say you'll see why I say kind of. Um, and Gundam, it's the power of determination and Gundam and my spirit and some bullshit futuristic thing will give me a bullshit weapon that'll destroy everything and win us the day. So it's really all about the mech that you drive rather than the actual skills you got. And you got the build fighters, well it's a fun little commercial, it's also the tournaments are so poorly written, they're so predictable, the characters are so generic, it's just... 
It was shit. I, it was shit. I was hoping that it'd be a little bit better. Because it's definitely a, a cool idea. Meh. This was cool though. I would love to have figures of these guys. I was never much one for the round ones. Oh, this is the sexiest motherfucker. Oh, wow, that is the coolest robot, I think. This is pretty hype. I think this joint is a bit too skinny. <laughs> Life upgraded. No idea. So sexy. The very cool. I wonder who drove this one. It was the guys, yeah, the guys who defended the city, right? It's actually pretty sexy. I thought I like this one better. And the Gripen. Uh, well, no, not the Gripen. The, is it the Typhoon? Yeah, the Typhoon. Mmm. So good. Uh, this one looks like a Pez dispenser. I don't know why, but it looks like a candy. Like a toy and candy combined together. This is alright. I also like Mirai's, it's a bit too bulky, I would never like too much bulky anyway, despite the fact that I like Warhammer for the guy, I, I actually prefer the WGC Infinity, not 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 Disney Infinity, there's a X cohort, because I think a Games Workshop made their and they made Infinity thing, and I think their models are way better while the gameplay not so much, while the gameplay sounds cool, I love huge battles, so yeah, but I love sleek designs, and this, this was pretty cool too, a bit too anime for my taste, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, that'll be it for this episode, guys. Oh, yeah, and the reason why um, I said this one's kind of, uh, like, Gundam is because the whole battle between Mirai and, um, Juliana, where the power of friendship made them all heal. It was epic, though, because both of them had that equal, uh, power. Both of them were healing, so we both had to destroy each other all at once. So it was even. It was still way better done than Gundam. Right? It's just been obvious one-sided things, and the closest to not one-sided things that they've had is where the, all the bad guys super powerful, he'll beat you this time, I don't get you, and you'll get him the next, which were also extremely predictable. Like, people, I know Attack on Titan's characters definitely are not very well written, but the story is well written. This, the uh, background's well written. It's not predictable. Well, at least not as predictable. There's a lot of the so, and uh, that's why I'm pissed off at Gundam that it still hasn't learned jack shit in Iron Blood Orphans. They literally had a good premise. It's like, oh, they're blood orphans, they're war people. You know, they're war torn orphans. They, they need to struggle to survive, but they're not struggling because they have the only Gundam left. Oh boy! And he's the, the main character, he's an edgy little boy. It's like, <laughs> no. I hate the main character. I can predict every battle and how it's gonna turn out. I end up rooting for the bad guys just to add some variety to this show. Just ugh. Oh yeah, no. Thank you, Project Nimbus, for being way better written, making us play through all of the factions, making it unpredictable as fuck. Well, it wasn't too unpredictable. I kind of knew, like, okay, now that we're good guys and united, we're probably gonna win. But I didn't know who was gonna die anymore. Um, Definitely the axe, but to have to fight a lot of the people that I played as before, that's really good. Just have, like, to have epic battles against them and everything. A lot, like, almost all of them had to fight, um, against each other. It was great. This game is great. Please give me more levels. Feel free to make DLC. Feel free. Feel free to make DLC. I will buy it in a heartbeat. Please make co-op. I would love to get this for my bro, uh, Dino. Um and my girlfriend and be able to play this together and pvp all right you know don't even worry about pvp right now like i would also love that but i would mu much rather prefer a co-op right now the uh, soon at least as soon as you can that's in his arm oh yeah it's in his shoulder so i guess that has to reach uh little mer merai robot reaching for the sky for the sun oh yeah no please please i would love to play co-op Oh, that's probably gonna be, I think my girlfriend said there's too many things on the screen to worry about, but since I have ADHD, I fucking love it. Alright, that'll be all for the next time. Uh, this time, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!
Yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe! And like Project Nimbus, because either way I'm gonna bring more of it. But I like to keep a track of who watches my shit. I'm 100% sure that not enough people watch my shit for a cool thing I want to do with XCOM 2. Like, I'm enjoying the game right now, but one of the reasons I got it was so I could do a cool, uh, hard, you know, actual hardcore, uh, thing with all my viewers as my troops. But yeah, we'll get there one day. Yeah, that'll be it for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye -bye.